I'm going to be showing you guys how to sense your grip every time because if you have grip art on your grip tape and you want it as straight as possible this is the easiest way to do it and you just need a couple of things all you need is a tape measure or a ruler that is flexible so you could measure the width of the board a razor blade and preferably I prefer a silver sharpie so that way you can see it on a dark board or it's easier to see the marking and the last thing that you're going to want to have is your grip but when you're using your grip make sure you don't have grip tape that is like already bent in it may not make the line straight it's better to have a piece of grip that is perfectly straight no spaces between the grip and the and the wax paper so let's just get started you want to open up your board Use your razor blade to open up. And make sure you don't rush this. If you rush it, it's not going to turn out as good as you want it. Especially if you have OCD. The first step is going to be measuring the width. So I know this board is an 8. But what I want to do is make sure the nose and the tail are both the same size. So what I do is measure the nose. Okay, so it's someone eight. And a tail. Yeah, they're basically the same size. So now that I know the measurement of the width, now all I have to do is divide it in half to find the center of the width. So if this is an eight, all I have to do now is just measure or mark four. So I mark one over here. Mark one past the truck, right there. Measure before the truck bolts holes. So before the holes and one after. And those are your center points. Now that you know your center, for your width, you can also do measure if you're really OCD and you really have to measure the length of the board too, just measure the length. So this is a 31 and a half, so it'll be 15 and a half, 15 and three quarters. But I'm not gonna do that because if you have if you measure the length, it gets more complicated because you have more specific measurements, so it's not gonna be as perfectly centered. But if you want to, you can just measure the uh, you can measure the length and try to center as possible. So now that you have your width center, what you have to do now is take your straight grip. So this is my straight grip. And you want to line up all the markings you have right over here. Hold it straight down as much as possible and mark it all the way up. To the top of your nose and tail. So just make sure you don't move it as much as I am. If you have clamps, that'd be nice, but that's straight. And make sure you mark the end of the board too. So when you look at it, you see that I marked it over here too. Just make sure you see it well. So that way, that is the center of your board, width-wise. So now what you want to do, is take the grip that you're going to be using. So what I'm going to be using is mob. That one was just up. So this is my mob grip. So now I'm going to measure the center of the grip. So where you want to mark it, is you want to mark it on the grip side so you take your marker put four and a half at the very edge so that way when you're cutting out you don't see the markings so that's four and a half right there because most of the grip is nine inches so center of nine is four and a half you just got to divide by two so over here do both sides you don't have to mark it through all the way just mark the edges. And 
and that's and that's your sensor for your grip. So now you got the sensor for your board and for your grip. Now here comes the hard part. So as you can see, this is the sensor of my line for my board widthwise all the way through. And then I also got the markings on my grip. So that way I know where the sensor is for the grip and for the board. So the part that's going to suck is gripping it. So my technique is peel your grip just like that so what I like to do is I like to take my thumb and my middle finger I put my thumb on the marking just like that and my middle finger right underneath it and I know where the markings are so just take both of your hands just like that I know the markings so like I try to line up my finger with the marking and try to make it as straight as possible hard to do with a camera but alright so I got that one side now I still gotta move it Like that should be somewhat centered. And that's how you get your center for your board, for your grip. Just work one side to the other. And the rest you just cut out like any other grip. Your grip should always be centered every time you do this technique. And the rest is just cutting out and getting ready to skate. Thanks for watching.